Now the analysis brought to you by Matt Serpe. He's going to show you multiple time frame analysis on the bond market. He's going to look at the 20 year ETF and really demonstrate to you the Ask Slim chart streams. This is some unbelievable stuff. Take it, Matt. Hello, fellow traders and technical analysis enthusiasts. This is Matt with Ask Slim. In this brief segment, I'm going to highlight our Ask Slim multi time frame chart streaming service. This service is designed for short term traders. With the service, you'll learn how to apply our suite of custom indicators at multiple time frames to assist with determining key short term timing windows, directional bias based on momentum, important support and resistance levels, how to monitor for extreme overbought and oversold conditions, and momentum divergences. This service includes 11 channels that we broadcast live each trading session. That includes the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, the Russell 2000, the SPY, the QQQ, IWM, GLD, SLV, TLT, XLE, and a proprietary index intraday grid for day traders. This proprietary Aslim service is streaming live each trading session and is available for our level three members and higher. Okay, let's take a quick look at a recent example of uh, the service looking at the symbol TLT, which we broadcast live each trading session. So the grid is made up of four chart time frames. We have our weekly chart, we have our daily chart, we have our two hour chart, and we have our 15 minute chart. Our methodology combines cycle analysis, momentum analysis, and swing high, swing low techniques, which are featured on these charts. All right, so let's take a look at how the, our multi time frame grid suggested two key things. One is a bearish bias for TLT for the past several weeks, and also how the grid here suggested the downside risk was still high coming into this week, even though there had been such a steep decline going on in TLT. All right, so we're going to start over here on the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, we have a momentum indicator, which we call our reversal scout and the reversal scout is this band which shifts between green and purple when it's green it's positive when it's purple it's negative and you can see here that back in december the tlt shifted negative our reversal scout picked up a change in the momentum condition and has held that negative condition ever since so that was a huge warning sign that the overall condition the directional bias based on momentum on the weekly chart here had shifted negative another tip that let us know that the overall directional bias is likely to be negative and we would have continued lower lows and uh, lower highs is based on our cycle analysis work that we do. And we utilize cycle brackets here to give us a visual depiction of the money flows so that we can see this price action play out on the charts and we have a framework for that timing. And what we saw here in TLT, which gave us that tip that we were likely to have some continued downside price action for the past uh, several weeks was the following. The TLT made a cycle bottom here, okay? And you can see that depicted by this prior uh, cycle bracket here. And then we went into a rising phase. We are unable to get through the 78.6, which is a level that we look at as well as unable to get past that prior cycle uh, peak. And then we rolled over. And when we rolled over here, you can see that the TLT broke that prior cycle low. And that opened up the, the door for several more weeks, potentially, of downside price action. And that's really what we got here as TLT uh, the following day had a little gap up or a little push up, and then it, it, it basically has collapsed and gone into a downside move ever since. So that warning here of that break of cycle support opened up the door for another few weeks here of downside price action, which is what we've seen. Okay, so now as we look at why uh, was there indication through this chart grid that this week there would also be uh, another period of risk. So if we start over here on the daily chart and we look at our another momentum indicators, so we have two momentum indicators on here. We have a reversal scout, uh, which again is that band that goes from, uh, from purple to green, but then we also have our slim ribbon, our custom slim ribbon momentum indicator, which uh, has three exponential moving averages. And when they are on alignment to the downside, the candles get colored red. And when there's a positive alignment, then the colors get candle uh, get turned green. And when there is a neutral or, or mixed condition in the momentum indicator, 
uh, between the exponential moving averages, it will shift purple. And you can see here that back since uh, this is going back to about uh, January 20th, the slim ribbon has been negative and only a few days here of showing a neutral condition. So as we came into this week, we can see here again, we had this cycle breakdown. So there was all this time to, to fall, but we had a, a minor cycle low that came into place. And then we had a rally into the uh, resistance, right near that resistance zone to the top end here of the slim ribbon, which many times the slim ribbon bands themselves, the ribbons act as resistance when there is a negative condition. And when there's a positive condition, those ribbons will, will act as support. But in this case here, there was a warning that as we got up into the top end of the ribbon itself, you could see that our another one of our indicators started to fire with negative uh, signals warning that the dominant downside momentum condition was likely to resume. So that was an indicator. Uh, the fact that we had that cycle low breakdown was an indicator that this overall cycle was likely to finish negatively, where we were to at a minimum retest this minor cycle low, uh, uh, if not break down below that. So as we came into this week, we had those those warnings, and the the biggest factor was the fact that there was a, a lot of time still left in this declining phase, which would, would suggest that we probably did not see the lows. And when we came in then to this week, uh, you can also see here on the two hour chart, as the TLT tried to rally and actually shifted the momentum positive on the two hour, the, the, the daily chart held its negative momentum bias. And when the two hour chart resumed that's negative bias here with the reversal scout turning negative, that was a signal that the dominant momentum was likely to resume. And because there was still time left in this declining phase, the likelihood of a retest or break of that prior low was high. That's exactly what we've seen this week. And now what's going on is that we, today we came into some key support, uh, intermediate FIB extension zone that was identified previously. And it's, it's likely here that we're gonna get some, some likely chop in, in this key uh, support area and probably one more dip down to the downside as the, the timing window is still in play here as we then shift into the bottoming process. And then and, and soon here, probably uh, as we get into the third week of April, we'll likely see a pop starting to happen in the TLT but it's got a lot of work to do to shift this overall negative condition positive. Right now, uh, we would need to see a push above the uh, minor 78.6 FIB around 131.57 to reevaluate this overall uh, negative condition, uh, which is still intact. And we are watching again for some further downside or choppy price action, likely one more dip to this uh, key longer term 78.6 or near here. And then we'd look for a consolidation um, and, then, and then a likely a rally uh, starting out here in a, a new rising phase in uh, about the third week of April. So that's how we use our multi time frame grid to get a sense of the directional bias for uh, the short term condition, uh, intermediate conditions. Uh, as as well as key price levels on the upside, the downside. So all of that is laid out uh, on these grids. And it's a fantastic way to, at a glance, get a sense of the overall technical conditions. We do supply a glossary and usability guides that are included, which go into deep detail around our custom indicator studies. And we provide best practices for identifying favorable trade setup conditions. So that's all I have for today. Remember to go to AskSlim.com for more information regarding our premium memberships. And you can write to me at Matt at AskSlim.com for special trial offers. And remember that this service is included in our level three service. And we wish all of you great trading.